guys and welcome to episode 46 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Torox leading the Slaughterhorn tribe to world domination. Today we're going to continue after destroying Sartosa <laughs> finally starting to deal with the vampire coast it's nice get rid of them they've been really annoying the Pirates of Sartosa like finding us in all sorts of places like over in the Kingsglade originally and then over in Fort Sartosa. Oh look at this now oh yeah look at all the corruption that's spread Oh, that's that's looking awful now. <laughs> what was once a green forest is now a black and desolate place. <laughs> I love that. It looks cool. Right, anyway, uh, as much as I love admiring my handiwork, let's just make sure that my dudes are moving. So, car can take the Black Tower of Ark and I kind of want to put a herdstone in the Black Pyramid, but yeah, I guess it'd be best to put one at Sudenberg, right? So we'll just put one there. I'm going to take the Black Tower of Arkan itself. And I am actually kind of want to play this out. I think it'd be fun with all of the Minotaurs. This is going to be a close victory, so we take quite a bit of damage anyway, uh, if I do do that. I'm not going to Lightning Strike, no. We'll jump on in. Let's go. This will be fun. That's going to be a lot of skeletons kill. These minotaurs are going to have a whale of a time. All right. Let's just uh, go headbutt this gate. <laughs> I love the way this this army is literally just select all. Right click. <laughs> it's kind of like Torox's army, except Torox you can kind of micro a bit better. Minotaurs are coming. Minotaurs are coming. I can probably destroy a wall if I wanted to. Let's see if that destroys the wall of the tower. I took down the wall. Okay, we'll go in there then. <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> Attack! <laughs> I'm going to just put him in a separate group. Lovely. Actually, I guess I can move him into combat. He does have the Tormentor Sword, so we should probably use that. Well, they're not really bashing around skeletons at the moment, which is unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll deal with all of this other stuff soon enough. One thing I do want to do is try and get a nice spell here, because they keep coming in off the edge of the map there. <laughs> Let's just do the delete units. Look at it. <laughs> they just come in, get insta-killed. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that set off all of their um, Realm of Souls or whatever it is called. I can't remember what it's called. Realm of Souls? I think it is Realm of Souls. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, we'll just carry on. Ignore everything else. Just move on. I might be able to kill the Hyra Titan. She, I tell you what we should do. We should tell all the Minotaurs to go over here. We have all of these attack the Hyra Titan. Gonna get rid of their ammo. And I might drop down some magic on these skeleton archers because they're probably doing quite a lot of damage. Oh, 
So we'll just get rid of them. Yeah, all our big boys are quite happily killing these guys. It's good. Get rid of those big boys. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just get into that. Kill those skeleton archers. Kill those tomb guard with halberds. Just kill everything. Right, these will be gone soon, which is good. My gobble should get destroy them. There we go. Brilliant. Right, let's go take out those skeleton archers. I should also destroy these. Alright, good. Let's now come back and kill the Tomb Prince. Uh, there is probably a good bit of shades here, so we'll do that. How many more reinforcements do they have, or have they brought them all in? I wonder. Because it does take a unit entirely disintegrating for them to actually bring more in. Oh, wait, what? what happened there? They've all gone crazy. To be honest, Rampage is probably a good thing. Because uh, what it means is they will automatically attack targets for me. Or I won't have to manually target them. But we're going to destroy them. Goodbye. Scorpions will be dead soon. Man, these guys are having fun. Oh, never mind. Time we lost. <laughs> they are all dead. Perfect. I guess there's a nice thing about fighting against either the Vampire Coast or the Tomb Kings is that they do always get entirely wiped out if they lose. Means I don't have to chase down all those secondary armies just because I played it out. How much damage does he deal? 61,000? Not bad at all, Grook. Not bad at all. Uh, no, we're gonna raise an advance. Oh, that army's not dead. Hmm, that's annoying. Alright, we'll take them out. That should destroy the faction. Never mind. Um, We'll just ignore him. If they want to take back the Black Tower of Arkham, we'll just destroy it on the way back. So we're going to go take out Sudenberg, and we're going to set up the headstone there. So we'll get Shadowhide and the Bray Shaman. We can just spread more corruption. That's great. Over to Morga. Uh... Do I want to chase this one all the way up here? I mean, he's probably going to attack the Pahoax, right? It doesn't really matter. Like, by the time he gets anywhere, he's going to be dead. No, just, yeah, we'll just leave him. 
If anything, I can just spawn an army and take him out. But we'll just have Morga actually move towards somewhere useful. It's gonna take him a while though. Like, would it be faster to go on water or actually on land? Probably on water. Uh, I guess actually, it'd probably be faster to beast path. Just jump across as far as I can, then go on the water. Yeah. And there's also a lot less wiggling around. Right over to Kazrak. Kazrak's gonna take out Schwarzhafen. Lovely. And then we'll move up. Uh, we can put a herd zone here. Uh, okay. I mean, I will do that. Because... And I would have expected the one at Castle Drakenhof to have stopped that one from being built. Oh well, that's fine. It's actually a pretty good one, it's covering quite a lot. So this one's probably covering like this side and this one's covering this side. Huh. Maybe it's because it's like a capital region? Because the Von Karstens start here, right? I don't know if that's the reason why. Uh, let's see. We'll go for... Thick skinned, I think. I'm just going to max them out for, like, melee. Cool. Gorble. Again, apologies about the sound. I know it's kind of annoying. Broken save file. <laughs> it's just so broken now. Uh, we'll grab Shadow Hide and yeah, it's funny because sometimes it's fine, but sometimes it's just it doesn't it doesn't work. All right, let's take Katakadrin. Want to resolve that? Thank you very much. This is getting a load of lovely, juicy experience for my Chaos Warhounds. I can't wait till they're rank seven. They're actually going to be legit, especially with the creatures of the herd upgrade. Alright, let's get Pit of Shades maxed out. This guy's leveled up. Yeah, I tend to notice it a lot more when I'm, you know, leveling up lords. Okay. So that's, uh, what was that? Nornash. Everyone else up here has all moved, haven't they? Nonesh, Kar, uh, Puidhuf, and Akash. Right, I said Akash over to Nagashazar because I'm curious if they've actually taken that. We have no more challenges. We've got loads of dreads, but we're not going to spend it. Uh, yeah, let's move on. They want a peace treaty. I remember when they declared war on me. I actually sent an army all the way across just to attack us. It was ridiculous. Oh well. What, what happened to that Skaven army? I don't think we saw that. Like it's kind of important that I do pay attention to where these units are going. <laughs> I thought they like legitimately deleted my army then for a second. <laughs> oh well. Okay, yeah, like, <laughs> my army disappeared. They did uh, recolonize. Alright, this guy's carrying on. Over to Torox. Okay, uh. With Torox. I'm going to perform the ritual there. That's fine. We're just going to run down here as far as we can. Malagor is going to jump over to Winterpire. Yeah, we'll just save Winterpire. Just make sure that they die. That's so just important. Like Malagor can get back here really fast. So I don't really care um, if he goes that way. As for a car, is he in range? Oh, come on, dude. Why why you do this to me, car? Every time. Just 
Walk just a little bit further. All right, we'll go back to Woody Alterbrook. It's like doing a fucking round the rosy at the moment. <laughs> Apologies for my language. Um, <laughs> Morgan's gonna head over this way. It's just so frustrating sometimes. Like when they don't, like when you just don't have that like little bit of movement range. Like the next turn, it says like you're gonna have enough, and then you don't. It's just like ah, oh, so annoying. Right, Ram's gonna start knocking out these Skaven settlements because I'm pretty sure they're there. I could, in fact, pop out another hero just to make sure that we can see that. We'll grab a Wargore. Uh, I should probably spec him towards buffing these guys, right? I guess it's just melee attack bonus. The one that like affects big boys. Now that's Bestigors, that's Chaos, Warhounds, Razorgore Head, and Harpies. That's uh Tuscal Chariots and Razorgore Chariots, and that's Replenishment. I mean Replenishment's fine, let's just do that. Okay, one of the Dark Gods, Many Limbed Fiend, Specialist. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, we'll have him check the settlements for us. Yeah, Torox moved, Managor moved, Car. Can move a little further, might as well. Ram moved, okay, over to Kazrak. So, yeah, it's like the same thing here. It's just annoying. Maybe we can attack Kragmir? Uh, looks like we can attack Kragmir. We'll do that. Oh my... Come on, dude. It literally says you're fine. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's frustrating. Uh, Nornash is going to come back anyway. Maybe we have uh, Nornash go around this way, although I'm a bit concerned about jumping into Thorgrim, Ungrim, and uh, Bronn here at Mount Gumbad. I mean, Torox could easily just jump over and kill them all. I think we'll have Nornash come this way. And Kar is going to take Erengrad. Good. So that's blood grounded all of that. Nice. So the north's complete. It is literally just southeast. And then we're done. The whole world is pretty much destroyed. Uh, we'll let him level up all his stuff. Good. That's a really easy way to use up a lot of money. <laughs> uh, right. So he was pretty much the last person to move, right? Just pooed if you can kill this guy. That is a disgusting army. College of Pyrotactics taken care of. And he got the Dawnstone. Fine. Okay, I'm probably going to buff him for Chaos Warhounds until we replace him with Minotaurs, but honestly I'm probably going to end up disbanding him and just bring him back somewhere else. Or we'll just get another Lord somewhere else. End the turn there. Finally, goodbye to the Cult of Sotek. With like military access. As if they have to ask for that. They're Skaven. Alright. Well, goodbye to them. <laughs> Land Mold is finally dead. 
Yay! Uh, wait, that's confused me. <laughs> the map rotated. I was like, where is that? Uh, no, we're not taking a piece, Tracy, because you're going to die. They can't recruit anymore, though, because I think that's the only other settlement they have. <laughs> is that fort. Oh, come on, Rakaf Dynasty. Don't be an arse. They're going to go run off. And colonize somewhere else. Uh, right, let's do Chaos Corruption. Thank you very much. Click through all of that. Lovely. Go to Torox. Take out Dead Rock Gap. I think this will be the end of the green skins. Should trigger our rampage as well. You know, we haven't really fought against the uh, green skins in a battle yet, so we'll just do that. Let's jump on in. Get rid of Grim Gore's art, boys. Yeah. I'm never going to do that again. Alright. Let's see... Uh, reinforcements are actually coming in behind, so I guess we mash them against the end of the map. Mm, actually, no. I'm going to let them come on the map, because I want to kill them off. So we'll just grab all our dudes, we'll run forwards. And we'll take them out. Oh yeah, it's one of those maps where like the AI runs off to the left. Because they think it's the high ground. Pretty strange. But they're not going to make it because Torox is running them down. This is when the green skins run away from a fight. Come on, dudes. Turn around. Any Torox. And his Sword of Cain. Two blobs. I just want to get on the range forces because they're the only things that can actually do damage to us. Everything else in melee just gets melted. These poor green skins, man. They're getting killed by the spotted cows. These good old butchers of Kalkan guard. <laughs> Absolutely dominating. Running away, kill him. Run him down. And where are those guys going? <laughs> They're going back to this part because they think that's like the main army. I don't know. Just, you know, we're just gonna absolutely press the delete button here. Let's grab Torox. We'll go take out this goblin big boss. He thinks he's so hard. Just wait till he gets <laughs> Torox after him. <laughs> that little waddle. Okay. Wait, did he just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye then. Uh... Yeah. Okay, Torx. Nicely done. <laughs> he literally just... <laughs> I don't know what happened to that goblin. He just... He just... He, he just he's gone. He's just gone. <clears throat> anyway. Let's go destroy the second army.
Yes, Torox. Kill him. Get him. <laughs> it's a complete waste of Torox. <laughs> You could just solo this entire army. I mean, as long as he's in combat, he's regening his sort of cane rate, right? so it's whatever. But I am going to have him run all the way back now. They take out the orc biggins. I think they're so big. Yeah, well, they're not. Alright, let's carry on. Go kill the other orc biggins. <laughs> If we do also have magic, we could start pumping magic on him. Oh, an orc war boss going after Torox. Hello. What's that health bar, shall we? Oh. Oh. That gotta hurt. And he's gone. Torox doing Torox things. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun. And there's something that's got to be said for, like, a game where you know you're going to win all the time, but, like, you don't care because, like, it's just fun. <laughs> I guess it's fun to win, right? I mean, it just is. We will raise the advance, thank you very much. And we got Harsh Rampage. I mean, it's kind of annoying because this army didn't die, so it's going to kind of waste it a little bit, but it's whatever. Um, that will wipe out the Greenskins, I think. They did? Mm, not yet. Okay. They have no settlements left, though, so there's just an army somewhere. Yeah, I was, I was pretty sure that was marked as their capital, which is why I said that. Uh, anyway, we shall go for uh, the ward save. And now, what I'm going to do is... Ah. Oh. I guess we'll just run all the way around here and go and kill Thorgrim as well. Should go into Dragonaut Raiding and then click this. And keep going. And we'll do it again. We'll hit Mount Gumbad. I'm probably just going to auto resolve. Ooh, we can't auto resolve. Interesting. Oh, we can auto resolve now. Oh, this because I didn't kill the other units. Derp. That's frustrating because now I'm going to have to win this battle separately, right? Uh, oh, that's fine. Uh, we'll just let him raise. And we'll do the Savage Rampage. We'll just get the Solar Eclipse Dark Moon event. That'll be useful because I can get extra movement range. And then we can just go Juggernaut. We do it again <laughs> and we kill off Thorgrim. <laughs> okay. Right. Weird how it makes it worse for us if we lightning strike. Let's jump on in. Like technically lightning strike should make the order resolve better because it reduces their leadership. Not that it's gonna matter. I mean they're all dead. It's as simple as that. I don't know why the auto resolve is even, you know, approaching the fact that it might be a close battle. Of course it's not. 
it's Torox. He could probably solo the whole army. I'm almost tempted to try, but it would take a while, so I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's go. Like, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna kill off all of the artillery. Lovely jubbly. We'll hit the, uh, the organ guns there. Meanwhile, <laughs> this thunder is just standing there like lemons. There is more cannons on that side. <laughs> In they go. Whack this down. Torx just doing his thing. No worries. I do actually need to take out these bolt throwers. Let's just right click these and kill them. Also gonna spawn a Saigor. We can just have that knock on the head of the Iron Drakes. Drake's being slapped on the head. Very nice. Well, I split up the Minosaurs a little bit here just to get on top of all of these ranged units. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing watching the Minotaurs here just roll through the lines of these rangers. Get the Minotaurs to spread out and kill everything. Thorgrim was in March starts, wasn't he? So we don't have to chase him down. Is it Thorgrim himself? He's unbreakable? No, it's his giant slayers. Alright, end the battle there. Lovely. Not even close. Now the ball throwers and cannons can do a decent amount of damage, but they've got to be able to, like, sit back and do the damage. Which is very hard when a Minotaur is running you down. The dwarves can't really stop a Minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> from running through them um so yeah well that's that i mean i guess we just go to grand prix grand peak and then just jump across to the pillars of grungni like i'd assume i might as well put him into a hidden encampment because he can replenish quite well Um, alright, Malagor, time for you to jump all the way back over here. Look at that. Bam. Great, those. Let's go over to Karak. Right, Karak can take out Bla 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 Black Buckthorn. 
Although his army is actually not very good for taking out. Uh, I say that. I mean, the fact we have all of these centaurs is actually pretty good. It, like, it would be a yeah, defeat if we auto resolved, 100%. Let's jump on in. And it's going to be an interesting battle. This is like the first time that I'm going to have to actually like micro the tentacles properly. My front line is pretty thin. But the key here is just get the tentacles onto the thunderers in their back line and then we should be absolutely fine. I could probably do that quite easily actually because in this map I can hide back here, can't I? I need to put them in the actual forest. That not count as hidden forest. It's weird how some of it is and some of it isn't. That's alright. We'll have these in front with these behind for the mid and then it's all good. Oh, these should probably be on one flank. Right, we'll just move these forwards. I won't move my centigores. But one of them revealed itself. No. Hide. Oh dear. Alright, best thing to do here is just have them lead them away from my other ones. Alright, we'll get into the back of them with these guys as well. And over here, we're just going to run through. Take out these. These need to just charge forwards here. And my chariots need to be a bit careful. We can't get stuck in combat. I think we need to just ball up on the left. It's fine. Oops. I always forget that exists. Well, we should be able to kill the giant slayers pretty well. Ah, no. Get out of there. Get out of there. No. Just give them the attack order and they should be able to move out of there. Carrots didn't do too well, did they? I didn't really micro them properly. A nice charge into the back of them there. That's good. Hopefully we break them. We can just kill them. We disintegrate them very fast. Good. Oh, 
I mean, it's working quite well. I mean, we're cutting them around quite nicely. <laughs> Big hit there. My infantry was always going to take a lot of damage. I think what we do, we can probably charge these giant slayers pretty well. Nice. Let's pull back. We don't want to be in like extended melee with those, they'll actually really hurt us, but we can cycle charge them, it should should be fine. I'm gonna have these leave just because they're gonna get themselves killed otherwise. I might just use this on that. I'm firing. Let's get back in there. Good, another really good hit. Pull back. I'm gonna move this guy back. I can actually hold the Lord there so he doesn't follow. And we can do some magic. I'll have Karak kill the hammers. I mean, Karak's pretty strong right now. Also, these two should break off. And what I can do is cycle charge these long beards. Shoot them in the back in the meantime. Probably shouldn't have used that, actually. Actually, let's just have them skirmish kite the long beards. Because they have armor piercing. We'll have these come up and help clear up the thunderers. As long as my units don't get like fully wiped out, I don't really care. So I think during this battle, I definitely let too many of their ranged forces stay alive for a long time. Well, the Centaurs did well. And they did really well. I'm just doing as much damage to him as possible because we're definitely going to have to attack him again. Is there anything I can use to attack him? I guess we could technically amber spear him.
<laughs> so silly. Like he wants to run away, but he can't. I'm a bit worried about <laughs> shooting my cycle there, so I'm not gonna <laughs> use the ability. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Right, his army is basically destroyed, so that's good. Yeah, the Centaurs really carried that. It was like the perfect battle for them because they don't get affected by the the water there. As all of the melee forces do. The thing is, like, attacking head on into, like, iron breakers, for example, with bestical herds, never really a good idea. We'll take the replenishment, thank you very much. And we're out of range to finish them off. Of course, we are. Cool. Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, hopefully we'll just wipe out uh, good old Black Buckthorn here. That'll be the last of the roaming armies on the seas taken care of. And, uh, yeah, then we can focus on the land. That's cool. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,